So is Deus Ex Mankind Divided worth your time? Is it worth your hard-earned cash? Well, that's what we're going to be talking about today. Hey guys, what's up? It's Robbie with Open World Games, and we're taking a very in-depth look at Deus Ex Mankind Divided. I'm running it on a PC. The graphics are pushed all the way up, guys, and I'm having a total blast in this one. But if you want to skip ahead uh, to the details about the graphics engine, if you want to find out more about how long the game's length actually is, how many hours is the game, well, you can find out that by following the links in the description below. You can just skip ahead and find out if you are short on time. And do not fear, there will be no story spoilers in this video. I'm going to be showing you, you know, the game world, some combat and stuff like that, but you will not be seeing any major dialogue or, you know, major story spoilers, boss battles, key moments, that sort of thing, so do not worry. Well, that was awkward. And a very special thanks to Square Onyx for sending me a review copy of Deus Ex Mankind Divided. It means the world to me that they supported me on this one. Thank you guys so much. I'm really having a blast with this game. Let's begin with them details. So, first of all, the biggest standout feature for any Deus Ex game, in my opinion, is definitely the characters and the story. And yes, it is here in Deus Ex Mankind Divided big time and i'm having so much fun with this game because you know the characters are so likable the world is somewhere where you actually want to move to and live in even though there are bullets flying around all over the place and racism against augmented uh type people is a big big deal yes the story does revolve around augmented uh human beings of course with the case of our main character adam jensen he has been heavily modified with, you know, metallic limbs, he's had surgery on his eyes, and a lot of people in the world of Mankind Divided frown on this type of thing, and you'll be dealing with that during your adventures in Mankind Divided. Well, we're going to be talking about the actual world right now. It is so well-crafted, guys. It feels like a believable, truly lived-in space, and exploring this city is such a treat. The design of the world, by the way, opens up uh, as time passes along, thanks to your actual abilities that you unlock, they in turn will exploit the environments even further as you play. You'll see a shortcut that you cannot access as you play. That door is unlocked over there, and then you have to upgrade your hacking ability or something like that, and then you can finally access it and gain access to new side missions, new vendors, and the like. It's just a wonderful journey just exploring the game world. It's one of my favorite things to do in a game like this. And they really did nail down the fact that your character progression really does tie into the environment itself. It's something I absolutely love. And yes, this is a proper RPG, big time. You can play in any way you want. And as the developers previously confirmed, you can go through the entire game basically as a pacifist if you want to without killing anyone at all. You can solve basically anything through conversation too if you want to be that sort of guy. Or if you want, you could shoot everyone up, but your life is going to be a lot more difficult. That's actually a way to die in this game, of course, but it is your call. It is up to you. I'm the type of player that goes for more of the stealth, shoot em up, uh, beat em up type play style. I like to get up close and personal and then also stealth my way around certain situations but if you want to converse your way through the entire game that is of course up to you but there's also crafting and weapon customization i was really impressed with the actual menu system with this where you access your weapon customization it's a lot like crisis that's one of my favorite ways of customizing weapons big time and it is now in deus ex mankind divided i love the sleek look of this so if you want to access your weapon add a silencer a scope or whatever you can do that on the fly and do it you know before you enter combat or whatever now jensen has a ton of brand new abilities over uh human revolution and they are a real treat they favor stealth combat you can make your character more like a tank like character or you could hack your way through uh, the entire game world, of course, opening up new options as you go. But there are a bevy of brand new upgrades to undertake. 
and they're a ton of fun through your 20 to 30 or so hour journey in this game. That's roughly uh, how long the game is clocking in for a lot of players, but it's not a linear experience at all. Uh, you're going to be exploring the environment, running into NPCs, documents, and unlocking certain areas will open up new side activities as well. This game is not just about going through and finishing it. You're going to want to return and play it again because uh, it encourages you to play new and different play styles each time. So you will be playing uh, the game and you'll notice that, uh, hey, I can't get this weapon or I can't get through this area. What is behind this door? And you're just going to have to move on because your character currently won't be able to access that area. And that encourages you to play a second time. Maybe even a third time. Who knows? But I love the game world so much. I think that it definitely deserves a second playthrough at the very least. Now, what about the downside of this game? Well, uh, the graphics engine in terms of the lip syncing isn't as impressive as I was hoping. It was something I was hoping they would fix from uh, Human Revolution. But unfortunately, the lip syncing isn't up to par with other games like, let's say, Uncharted 4. Then again, it is open world and the details are outstanding. Again, I am running this on uh, PC, basically cranked all the way up. Now, another thing that you might have trouble with with this game is following the story it can be a little bit convoluted at times but overall i'm really enjoying it again it kind of you know reminds me of metal gear solid in a way you know a lot of you are noticing that metal gear solid might be heading down the crapper here very soon which is very disappointing of course hideo kashima is no longer on that project and if you are wanting a metal gear solid substitute i think deus ex mankind divided is going to be for you it has similar themes with the augmented humans uh, in the game, it has somewhat, in my opinion, a similar art style in some ways. And it just feels like we need something like this in place of Metal Gear Solid. Because I have a feeling that it's going to go all sorts of wrong here uh, soon. Which would absolutely suck, guys, to say that. Because I'm a huge Metal Gear Solid fan. So it looks like Deus Ex Mankind Divided or Deus Ex as a whole franchise might be in the position uh, to take, you know, over Metal Gear Solid simply because of the problems they had out over at Konami. But if you're looking for something like Metal Gear, this is a very, very, very good replacement, of course. There are so many ways to play this one throughout your entire journey. And by the way, the developers previously said they have put a ton of work into the actual combat mechanics, and they really want this to be more of a game where you can actually play in that type of style previously is kind of more clunky so is that true yes combat feels a lot more frenetic and fast than beforehand and i am loving that bit of the game like i said before i usually go up to guys shoot them or i stealth my way through i'm not really good at being patient and talking my way through something but i cannot wait to try that option as well let me know what type of play style do you guys enjoy the most do you enjoy stealth combat or conversing your way through games like deus ex let me know but yes uh it is true that the combat does feel a lot better which is good news and you know there's so many awesome weapons of course in the deus ex universe where you can really just have a total blast the only thing that i've noticed though if you're playing it on a more challenging difficulty is ammunition is uh, more rare so you have to be a lot more careful and that's where the stealth does come in and helps you out so they want you to balance uh, messing around with your augmented abilities versus using your weapons and I think that's a really cool balance to strike for sure and I know a lot of us hated I mean absolutely hated the boss battles in the first game human revolution well thankfully they aren't going to be returning in that way they are much much better in deus ex mankind divided definitely so it seems like they have definitely addressed that issue and it has made the game so so much better they were definitely the dry point of deus ex human revolution and it's good to see that they really are putting augmented abilities and the weapon customization more on the forefront and just using your abilities and wits more than anything else if you are really into you know single player games and you want more single player rpg madness on your PC, PS4, or Xbox One, whatever. I'm hearing that it looks great on all platforms, by the way. Uh, go for it. Check this one out. I highly recommend it. I don't usually rate games at all 
But again, I definitely recommend this one if you're in the mood for a good RPG that I think is a very long-lasting game for you guys. I think it will be spinning in your disc for a while. And there will be DLC, I believe. So there's going to be a DLC upcoming. I don't know what type of quality we can expect from the DLC, of course. But as a vanilla package, as a base package, just spending $60, you can't go wrong with Deus Ex Mankind Divided, in my opinion. And, you know, there's a bunch of uh, other reviews out there saying the same thing. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the game. I think it's beautiful. I think uh, it's something that is definitely needed at this time. There was a drought there going for quite some time. And even with the big rush of fall releases coming up here, this is definitely one I highly, highly recommend. I think it's a standout game and it can actually compete even if it released in fall against the major titles coming up here. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned here to Open World Games for more coverage of your favorite single player games. Games like Deus Ex Mankind Divided. It's kind of open worldish. It's got that city hub feel to it. It's a very open world in its side activities and mission structure. So it's definitely my type of game. And I'm sure that you guys would enjoy it too. But guys, thanks for watching and I will see you later.